purple, like a darkish plum purple, we'll say. He's not the prettiest of my bunnies in my bunny collection. Definitely, he's worn down and you can see like his eyes are scratched. Paper mache and it's very colorful and the head is like a lion's head because it has a lion mane around it from orange, brown, yellow, there's dots on it. Black and it's fluffy and he's got a little nose and little um, eyes glued on. It fits me like a glove, you know, like I put it on and I feel the metal strings on top of the wooden fretboard, I feel the lacquer of the knack and I feel kind of it slump into its spot that it sits in whenever I wear it. them so it kind of reminds me of that that time frame so it's like a snapshot of that experience so like when I look at this I always remember like opening night and coming out and like seeing the flowers and seeing her so it's a special yeah <laughs> it's a special thing things that are memorable I usually do have to have something tangible to like fully remember it like a picture even or like an item it's still very materialistic and it doesn't really mean much. It's just a necklace, but I don't know. I think part of it is also like a cultural thing, like growing up in Harlem and growing up with like all these like Hispanic kids or Latinx kids. And I don't know, I feel like there's something about that. When picking whatever object to look at or to hold or to be with in whatever moment. It's because I want to get to a certain emotion or I want to feel a certain way um, or stop feeling another way. A lot of nostalgia, I think, um, for the summer and a time when I felt the most like myself I'd ever felt. Wanting to go back to a moment that's past, um, but I think it can also mean, or it can also be a bit more of a sad thing, um, and like you feel grateful to be beyond something, but you're still, part of you is still tied to that. When he said to me, he just said in the most nonchalant way ever, well, when I die, you can have it. And then I said back to him, I said, I guess I should say thanks in advance. I'm never gonna get another grandfather. I'm never gonna get to say bye to him. And so having that jacket is kind of saying, I don't have to say bye to him because he's always with me. I think it's nice to have that here because I don't see him as often and he's pretty young. So I'm like missing out on him growing up and stuff. But that is like a piece of, it's kind of an artifact of his, of the age he was at when he made that. But to me, when I see him, I just, I feel nostalgia mostly. And I just, I feel happiness. And I feel like a connection to my brother, but also my mom, who always like told me to take care of the bunny. It gives me more specifics about the time period 
and I think that it kind of makes it feel more real for me. I think I'm more sure of like myself and whatever situation I'm in. Every object that you have, like you've acquired it somehow. So like the connection for me is where it came from, who gave it to you and how they got it for you. Ultimately, I like keep things around me that remind me of people that I really care about and that I know really care about me. All of these things ground me back to like myself and even no matter where I'm at, it brings me back to like home, but not home, you know? So like if I take my guitar right here and I look at the little dent right here, you know, I remember exactly how I got that dent. Seeing this kind of reminds me where I was when I first saw it for the first time. Having these objects, they're kind of like keys that unlock a little bit more of your memory. I'd say my biggest fear is like being alone, like not like you know, alone in a space, but just like alone in general. And I like to keep things that remind me that I'm not alone, or at least in that one point in time, I wasn't alone. Happiness and also their sadness. I have a book that is not out anywhere, but it's like an album of, uh, pictures like of my dad. So my dad, he died when I was three. So I don't know, I don't know, like I don't have memories of him. So that book is like something that is the only tangible thing that I have in terms of like con that connection. To me, that's kind of the importance of having material objects is that they can kind of uh take you back, especially on maybe harder days, you look at the things that came out of your good days. I feel like it, it just feels like me at this point. Like, I could take it off, of course, and like, but it just, I don't know. I feel like at this point, it's, it's like there's some sort of tethering. YouTube. I guess just how I grew up because it reminds me a lot of how I grew up and stuff and yeah it reminds me of home. But I'll wait, I'll try.